Welcome to another Alpha Magnus review. Uh, let's take a look at these guys. So this is the Bucky O'Hare set of uh, action figures here. Uh, I got these at Ollie's for $5.99. They normally retail for about $35. Um, but for whatever reason, Ollie's is getting them for cheap. <laughs> I'm guessing that probably some toy warehouse closed down and sold all their stock. Um, Megalopolis would have been my guess, but that's been a while. Because um, that, that company went under um so anyway uh on the back it shows all of the available ones uh that you could probably find um i found dead eye duck and stealth mission bucky i doubt i'm gonna find a, a captain because no one's found that so i actually just bought that at um big bad toy store they had it for 24.99 and then uh it's either astral projection or first mate Jenny. Um, I don't know which one. They might have both. Because the boxes for Dead Eye said, said Astral Projection. I'm going to buy either one. Maybe both. Uh, for $5.99. And then some Storm Toad Troopers. Um, here's the Bucky O'Hare something or other. I don't know if you've ever uh, seen it. I believe I believe it was a comic book first. Uh, but the, the TV show uh, was wonderful. And it was just... It was the TV show that was on at the most random times. So I only caught a few episodes. And whenever I caught the episode, it was, I think, the one where they first find um, Willie DeWitt. Which is annoying that we don't have a Willie on here. But I don't think Boss Fight's continuing with this line. And that's, like, the worst character, too. So... Um, whatever. You win some, you lose some, right, guys? <laughs> Trying to find a good spot for that, uh, that light. Um, so here's, here's the, the back of, of it. And I believe that's the same on both. So no big deal here. Now, one of the reasons that I actually really like this, I never picked up a Boss Fight Studios, um, thing, is you can actually take this out of the packaging and you can still put it back in that needs to be done on every action figure um because even with the uh plastic free initiative and all that stuff um first off this makes it easier to recycle this if you need to because it's there's no tape or nothing involved uh secondly same with the other package. There's no glue involved. So there's no glue. There's no tape. You're just sliding it in there. Yes, you're going to have people. You can probably tape maybe one of the things closed. Um, nothing terrible. But this, you can just toss in the recycle if you don't want it. If you're not one of those kind of collectors. It just makes so much more sense to, um, to do so. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm opening Stealth Bucky up first. Um, hopefully that... That uh, other one shows up relatively sh quickly, um, and hopefully I find the other the other two that I do want. Um, figure itself, pretty amazing. It's got single jointed uh, single uh, jointed elbows, which is a little bummer. But you got uh, swappable gloves. This is like on a little hover thing, so it's pretty cool. Um, this is just a repaint. I don't know if this was ever ever in the comics uh i would assume so but i don't think it was ever in the cartoon so uh if you never watched bucky o'hare just watch the the theme song that's all you need to know uh we do have articulated ears which is super cool <laughs> bucky it's captain bucky o'hare mm, we got a waist so this has pretty much everything that that a, that a decent Oh, it even has toe. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting the toe. Um, he comes with a cape. That looks like it just plugs right in here. I forgot how cool this show was, too. It really was, like, ahead of its time. Um, if you don't like this face right here on Bucky... 
simple peg. You can swap it out for Happy Bucky. Um, I think I think I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna keep this head on here because I'll put the happier face on um, regular Bucky when that shows up. Unless there's different faces on that too. Um, that is one of the parts that's a little annoying is that if these are four different faces, you still have this, this camouflage stuff on here. Um, but whatever, uh, check your ollies. That's what I'm, what I'm getting at. If you like weird things. Now he does have, he comes with one gun in the package normally, uh, but he does have two in this. So we're just going to give them both guns. How about that? Blasters is they're called. It does fit in there, which is one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to this. Um, they give you this stuff, and then it doesn't really matter uh, because it doesn't fit in the thing. So he has, comes with a pointing hand and a splayed hand. It comes with two punching hands, left and right. So that's pretty cool. And then two guns. So uh, we're just going to have Stealth Bucky dual wield, which is the opposite of Stealth. He should have came with a silenced one or, uh, or like a sword or something. Stealth Bucky is pretty cool. Um, as I said, if I hadn't seen that, that, that one on Big Bad for 25, I probably would have just... Uh, I probably would have, um, what's my brain trying to think? It escaped me. I probably would have repainted this one. <laughs> so I was kidding. Jesus, what the heck? So pretty good, uh, standard fare for a, um, figure. I really like the way that this works. In fact, I'm keeping this, um, not so much for keeping the, the box itself, but because I'm doing my own toy company soon enough, I hope to have it done by this year at PowerCon, but that is just not happening. Um, so what I will do though is um, I will keep this for when I when it comes to packaging time. I want this. Now the one big thing that I have a problem with, and I'll show you here on Dead Eye Duck, is that hey. That's cool, it's got a little thing to hang it up here. Um, I probably would have preferred it just being there because this this is gonna wear wear loose. Uh, secondly, you can't sit it up. So it's gotta have a, the, the bubble at the bottom so that you can sit it up. That's a big thing. A, with retailers, not all of them have pegs. B, um, it's just kind of annoying when you're trying to, you just wanna have this stuck up on a shelf. You don't have to, wanna have to tape it or anything. Now, this one's a big one. I kind of thought I wasn't going to be able to find Dead Eye Duck. Um, he is probably my favorite character from this. He is a grizzled dude. Uh, and he's, for some reason, he has six arms. Um, I also have a weird preference for duck characters. As I showed you, the back's the same. Um, they do have some larger characters available, as well as I think they might have even made... Uh, some, uh, some other vehicles, maybe? Um, or someone just used the vehicles from the old series, which I might go hunt down now that I got these, because these are wonderful. The old series was, was very basic um, as it was. So, did I duck here? Comes with a whole bunch of guns, because he's got double the, double the arms, double the legs. No, actually, just double the arms. Um... little bit more simple of a, of a figure than Bucky. Um, he only has a ball joint for his foot, which pops off. They don't give you any other ones. Um, his leg is, ooh, that is tight. I'm not going to mess with that too much, but it does have a single, uh, single joint. They're like ratcheted almost, not ratcheted, um, indent. I can't remember what they call them. It's when, when they, they're not, they don't move smooth. It's 
That's what I'm getting at. So let's put these guns here. Don't really think it matters. But he was one of the cooler, cooler uh, characters that I remember in the show. He was kind of a D-bag. So there's Dead Eye Duck. He does have a double ball joint um, head. I think Bucky had that as well. You can't take the hat off, which is a little disappointing. So let's think about buying more of these just for these hats. <laughs> So I'd have to take those off. His face does come off. His his bill here. He really foots the bill. <laughs> um, comes with two. Two punch hands, a splayed hand, and then um, the best one, which is a cigarette smoking hand. So we are definitely using the cigarette smoking hand because we're not sissies um first face was the the agur second one is a closed mouth right there i feel like these figures probably could have sold easily for 20 bucks um and then this one's more of a smiling uh, i do feel like I do feel like there is a little bit of a, he does have a weird hand like that. Mm. Let's put that smoky in here. Uh, I, I, weirdly, I really like smoking duck action figures. So if anyone wants to make a duck man, um, action figure one of these days i'm gonna have a whole bunch of ducks and i don't even know why i don't really even like ducks i just think that uh the idea of a, an action figure of a duck is just funny um ducky let's heat this up because this guy is being funny i don't feel like breaking it Got our smoky. I'm gonna put this on a little closer. I found that if I put these on a little closer to the chest, they're less likely to break. There we go. So now he's got to get draw. I don't remember what he sounds like in the show. I just remember he was like so curmudgeoned. That was why I liked him. There we go, that's bending now. All right. Detent, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, he does have his duck butt here. Um, and then you do have a bunch of extra guns if you're so inclined to give him a bunch more. Um, you know what, we're going to swap this one up for here. Uh, as I said, I do plan on looking for the other batch of these. Um, I got the ones that I wanted, though. The ones that I really wanted was was regular Bucky and um, and Deadeye here. Because he is the cool guy. I'll probably go back and re-watch Bucky over here and be like, this guy's a complete tool. <sighs> I'm getting real tired of having to heat these things up, let me tell you. Gotta love scorching your hand to get an action figure part in. If only he came with a peace sign. He'd be a peace sign, a wink, and uh Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, if you're a George Carlin fan, you might get that joke. Um, there it is. There's Dead Eye Duck. Uh, so both of these six bucks at Ollie's, pick this up. Check your Ollie's out. If you're into um if you're into these at all. There we go. Uh, I really like like them. And these are ones that have been on my list for probably, what, two years, three years now. And I've just never been able to afford them because they were 30 bucks a pop. Um, I'm going to have the whole wave for about 30 bucks. So that's cool. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, comment. And until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus.
These are toys.